What is going on, people? Danny swimming. Got the fork and bucket. This only means one thing. Yeah, Dixon log one. And then we're going to head further over to shore in the other distance and try for some place today. So, go quickly dig some worms before the tide comes in and we'll go to shore. Alright guys, just back at the car. About 20 worms there. Not very many. Got a peeler in there as well. Just started pouring down the rain now. I've got my coat so... I do want to get soaking wet before I start fishing. Got my coat in the car, obviously, the way it is. <laughs> really rocky down there. It's not um, not very really sandy at all, so it's a bit hard going. But I was only out there for about 15 minutes and got 20 odd worms, so it'll do. Uh, time to head over to Sean Beach now. Oh, that was an effort and a half. Just got in my little shell. And that wind has really picked up. It wasn't windy when I was digging worms. But yeah, the rain's in there now. Wasn't supposed to rain this afternoon. It's only just gone 11 o'clock, so yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a wet session. But I'm quite dry in this little shelter. Bought my swimming rod with me as well, because I nipped down there yesterday. Um, had a couple of spare hours, so I just came down here with my lure rod. And someone said I missed the shell of mackerel about 10 minutes before I got there. I don't know how true it was. But I'm starting to run a bit low. And the old mackerel in the freezer, so it'd be nice to get some fresh bait. Um, also, I saw someone upload a video of a couple of dolphins swimming past here this morning as well. So I'll keep an eye out for those later. Hopefully, rain's not too bad. Is that a seagull to wish me good luck or just to laugh at me? But yep, I'm gonna set up my tripod and everything like that and try not to get too wet. Right guys, first of all, the orange tip, using the one, usual one up one down rig, I just added some of these luminous beads, so I'm just trying in uh, UV torch, just give it a quick glow, I don't know how much or not, but same for the one one as well, just quick UV light on it, just to add to the glow a bit, see if we can find a place, maybe bream. And that one, I'm just going to hammer straight up. Okay, white tip rod there. Just a pulley rig. But that's got the crab on it. It's finally stopped raining. So I'm happy. No bites in your orange rod yet. But this white rod's with the crab. Just going to hammer out again. Just seen my first little bite on the orange tip rod there. It was a very quick, snappy bite. Not too sure. Maybe placey. Just gonna hold fire just for a little bit longer and see how it develops. There you go, guys. Blankets me over. Good pound bring there. I think I might I think that one might be coming home to the table. Over the moon, that bring. Been wanting to catch a decent bream for a while. I'm taking this one home for dinner. I saw on Smash Fishing, um, he made some excellent burgers out of bream, and I've been meaning to get a go. So this one's going home, unfortunately. Don't know if you can hear that pitter patter. That rain's back again. No more bites, but my line has gone round to the right a bit. I haven't seen any of his bites. Let's give it an eye out. The crab's still out there, haven't changed that bait yet. Just gotta leave that for the time being. Hoping it doesn't rain the whole time, hope it's just showers. But it seems quite over hard, uh, overcast and dull, so I think it's gonna be raining all day. Okay, left hand rod there, white tip for the crab. I've just added a squid head to that one. Um, just freshen up the bait on the right one as well, more lugworm. No fish. A few guys fishing down there, no one's caught anything. So yeah, a bit slow. But it's still about two and a half hours to high tide, so still time to find more fish. Okay, what I've done for my next cast, I've just cut up some squid and some strips. 
just gonna tip my uh, tip my lug worm with some squid strips, face like him, bream like him. So yeah, that's the plan for next class. Did see a very slight rattle on my orange chip again, but not aggressive as the last fight. I'll hold up for another five minutes so and I'll take it in and I'll do a bait update. Okay, just moved my tripod back up, uh, rebaited out, put squid on the lug worm, see if we can find some more bream for him in a place. Still chucking it down rain. Slightly southerly wind it's blowing into my shell. I've twisted it around a bit, but it's still finding its way in a little bit. A bit annoying, but it's okay. At least I've got some kind of shadow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no more bites. Um, last, last time I took it in, um, bottom hook, the worm had been pulled off slightly. So that might have been the bite I thought I saw. But apart from that, pretty quiet. But I'm just excited. But I've got some dinner in there. Bye right, guys, just hang on. Facing up, lugworm, cut squid, the UV beads there, same with your hook. Tide's right in close now, so I'm only going to lob it out about 50 yards. See if we can find another green. Just missed a really rassly bite on my right hand rod there. It's probably like a micro place or something. Not quite big enough to take the hook down. Off and up, been very quiet. Still plenty of others fishing. Guy next to me's had a few plays. But I'm just happy I've caught a fish. Hi right, guys, it's now 15 minutes to high tide. Just have a few chucks my lure rod. Could really do some new fresh mackerel. So that's one down the old freezer. But, no more bites yet. Off that rattly one I saw earlier, but I'm guessing it was like a micro place. But apart from that, rather slow. I'm going to hold on for another hour at least. Just wait till the high tide turns and see if it brings any more fish on. There you go, guys. Before I just do a bait check, a little place there. Sure, it's place, yeah. It's a place. The spots didn't have spots on it, but it's all fading away. This one will be going back probably for about 25 centimeters or so. But yeah, I'm gonna chuck this one back. Off he goes. Right guys, got enough for one more cast out of this. Probably three or four worms left in there. But before I, before I go home, um, I'm just going to prep all the spring down, degut it all, get rid of, I've already got rid of the scales off it, and just going to chop all back on the fins and everything. Just makes it so much easier and tidier and hamster at home, so you don't get all the aggro as well from the other half. But, that's what I'll be doing in a minute. I'll be take down my spinning rods. Unless there's a last minute show of mackerel going past. But I did just think I saw another little rattle more right hand rod then. But I'll hold out for a couple of minutes, see that it progresses. If not, I'll be casting out that one last cast. Okay, it's hard for one last cast. I loaded up all my worm in last week's crazy. Conditions same as, <laughs> and that's just going out as far as I can chuck it. Hi right, guys, I saw the shout and everything taken down. One last rod. So let's see if there's anything on the end of this. Hi right, guys, baits have come back untouched, but no wee today. So that's been another great thing. And I've finished my blanket streak. One place and one bream. And that bream will be my dinner tonight. So 
so I'm happy, very happy with that. I'm going to try and do those um, smash fishing burgers. He, I think he needs a guilt head breed for his, but um, yeah, go give that a go. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll try and be out again before the end of the weekend. Thanks for watching, guys.